What up? This is Devonte from Devonte's Paradise. We got another brief intro. We got your girl Nikki. Um, Nikki's a legend in her own right. I mean, if you want to scratch out Lil Kim, Lil Kim was out. Foxy Brown, Missy Elliott. See, I know about them. So, uh, man, Nikki came out 2010 of a Young Money fame. Around the same time as Drake. Tiger came in later. But again, it's a brief intro. I don't go too much into the artist. Uh let's let's go into this. Let's go into this first album. Let's go into the features. We got M, Rihanna, Drake, Will I Am, Kanye West, Natasha Bedingfield, and Esther Dean. So shout out to all my ladies out there. You know, I had to do the the, the female, you know. Shout out to the Barb's. Y'all, y'all know y'all gonna like this shit. Share it, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. Now, let's go over to the next album, Pink Friday Reloaded. Let's go over the features. Now we got Cameron, Rick Ross, Two Chains, Wayne, Drake, Jeezy, Nas, Chris Brown, Bobby V, Cassie, Parker, Beanie Man. Sierra, Brinks, and Tiger. Now, when we get to the pink print, because I don't remember, I don't know too much about Nikki. Um, when we get to the pink print, I know this is when she started falling off with her with her dude, Safari. Uh, she went out with Meek Mill. I think that's about all I can really put into it. Um, Nikki was bigger than ever. Uh, there was a lot of doubt in her. There was a lot of people doubting her because they were saying uh, Safari was her ghostwriter. Uh, she put out this this crazy album, and then she took a four year break after this. But let's go over the features, man. We got Jesse Ware, Ariana Grande, Katy Perry, Beyonce, Drake, Wayne, Chris Brown, Jeremiah Parker, Meek Mill, Lunch Money, Lewis, Skylar Gray, Young Bird. So, you know, the pink print. Oh, and I forgot to go over the singles. I'll be always forgetting to go over the singles. What were the singles? I think one was right, right through me. One was Moment for Life, Check It Out, Your Love. I think those are all the singles. Now, for this one, I'm a music head for this one. Uh, Your leader was one. Bees in the trap. By my side, I think was one. Starships, high school. The boys had a video. Stupid hoe. And uh, I think that's about it. Now for this one, for the pink print. Feeling myself only. Anaconda. The night is still young. Pills and potions. I think there was more truffle butter. You know, so so check this out. I hopefully they don't try to fuck me over with this shit. Uh, Nikki waited about four years. Dropped the album Queen, 2018. Uh, Cardi B is coming on the scene. All these other female rappers coming on the scene because throughout that whole year during the pink print there was no other female rappers on nikki's level now the rappers now the female rappers are getting on nikki's level so she put out queen and i gotta say man i don't like this album like at all I don't know what the fuck was going on, but let's go over the features, man. We got Eminem, Labyrinth, Wayne, Ariana Grande, The Weeknd, Sway Lee, Future, Douglas Patterson, Foxy Brown, Nas. I think this is her worst album. This is her worst album. Uh, 
I guess allegedly now Nikki's pregnant or she probably had the kid already as of now. I'm not sure. Again, I don't get too much into this world. I get a little bit into it. I dip and dab, but I don't, I'm not with the gossiping and the relationships and who's pregnant and who's fucking who. I don't get too much into that. But I dip and dab a little bit. But uh, this is a brief intro of Nikki. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Barbs, what up? You know, uh, Devontae's Paradise and Barbs. Y'all let me know what y'all think. We'll have a discussion in the comment section. Anyway, peace.